today's episode, replacing the battery in a Samsung Galaxy Tab. First thing you're going to need is a spudger, the big Clive spudger. And get that spudger in between the case back and the body housing. And with a little bit of luck, figure out how to, oh, there we go. There we go. Right, so once you've got a bit of that going, then you can effectively start to pop, there we go, pop that off. And you just work your way all the way around the case. And boom, <laughs> as if by magic, there it is. As with all of these things, eventually the lithium ion batteries die in them. Um, and uh, the Samsung Galaxy that I have here uh, is exactly the case. And in fact, um, the battery has expanded um, and you can feel it squidging around inside the case. And I have purchased a replacement battery for it. So uh, with a little bit of luck, that means this pad will be working again. So that's inside the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. This is the battery that I mentioned is, uh, as you can see here, hopefully you can see that it's uh, quite squishy. It's full of gas. And in order to remove this, what you have to do is pull up on this little piece of uh, tape here. Now what I don't want to do is pop that off and end up ripping this connector off here. So very carefully with my fingernails, I'm just going to put my fingernails underneath this connector and pop up that connector there. That should just pull upwards. There it is, as if by magic. There's our little battery connector right there. So let's, uh, and you can hear it starting to come away. And boom, that was easier than expected. A little bit of sticky tape on the battery. Okay, new battery, no sticky tape on this new battery. Uh, there is a little bit of residual sticky left here, so I think we'll probably just uh, we'll roll with that. So we'll carefully bend that battery connector out, pop the battery in place, and then, with a bit of luck, we should be able to, bonk, there it is, encourage that battery connector to seat properly, give that a gentle push down, and then take the back of the unit. As you can see here, there's some tracks that uh, make contact with some pins. Get the back of the unit back on. Give it a good firm press all the way around. And then with a little bit of luck, nothing, still dead. So let's go ahead and put this on charge for a little while and see if that helps fix the problem. So, uh, so here's that squishy battery. And what happens is um, when they get overused, they tend to gas out. So they'll uh, emit a gas and this is somewhat sealed. So as you can see, there's a bit of trapped gas. Ah, no one likes trapped gas, do they? Anyway, that's the old battery. Um, so carefully dispose of that. Don't chuck it directly in the bin. Find somewhere where you can dispose of batteries. And uh, in case you're uh, interested in the spudger, uh, you might be able to read that. I'm not sure. Depends on where you come from. But uh, that was ATNT. That's 80 Taiwan dollars. Uh, didn't have to go all the way to Taiwan to find a spudger, but um, but I was out there anyway. My wonderful wife, Vicky, is Taiwanese. So that's the little bad boy there. Sort of flexible, but very stiff. Flexible, but stiff. Nothing wrong with that. And uh, 
it gives you instructions on how to go ahead and get into various different bits of kit iPad touches and iPhones and that kind of stuff so uh, right well I've cleaned up the case this is the um, this is the case and let's get the device aha look at that 26 percent let's uh let's turn this bad boy on oh -ho! galaxy tab 2 and hopefully this bad boy should fire up oh -ho -ho! awesome and boom Look at that. I tell you what, this thing is beautifully responsive. It really is quite cool. I like it. So uh, what we've got to do now is plug it into its case. There's two little lugs here and here, and they plug into the two little lugs that are in the case. So there we go. Boom, click. And now there it is. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. So, back with the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2, up and running again. And it's a lovely little case, it's so thin, and it's pretty quick. It's got um, 4G, it was one of the first tablets, or phablets, phone tablets with 4G built in, little speaker at the top there. You can literally, they claim it's pocket sized, you can literally hold this up, there's a speaker at the top here, hold this up to your ear, and uh, and make a phone call on it. Fantastic. There we go. If you're anything like me, you might have a rather large collection of various different pads. Some older and some a little newer. This is the iPad Pro beauty. Great news. The wonderful Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 is all up and running with its fresh new battery. Key thing to note, to gain access to the battery in this is relatively easy because it's just a plastic clip on back. Whereas when you come to units like these iPads here, in order to get the glass away from the aluminium solid housing, you need to heat them up and you need to, it's, a, there's a high risk of cracking the glass. These are much harder to do. Anyway, I hope this instructional video has been useful to you. Please give us a good old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. There'll be plenty more of this kind of stuff coming in the future. Please go perhaps check out one of our other videos. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, people. Cheers and beers. Bye for now.